Two at six, a Lanikai woman has been charged with stealing tens of thousands of dollars from the PTSA of Lanikai Charter Elementary School. KITV4's Nana Okawa joining us now with the latest developments. Nana. School officials told us she was a woman they trusted. The trust they say allowed them to give her financial control without any official oversight. School officials at Lanikai Elementary say they spent years wondering why PTSA money seemed to keep disappearing. Big donations, jumbo checks gone. Then a $24,000 grant went missing, and some staffers began to suspect this woman, former PTSA president Tanya Taylor. She was well known and well liked by parents and many of our staff members, uh, and it's been a, a a source of, of disappointment. This woman um, is a close neighbor of the school, literally. She had her children at her school and she was a dedicated volunteer. And it really divided the school in loyalties on who could actually believe it or not. Current parent teacher organization president Marnie Ackerman says Taylor was in a powerful position and was involved until 2009. She was available and, and wanted to help and do it, and people were like, sure. And, I think that's basically how it happened, is that she was offering to do more and more, and it got to the point where she was kind of running it. It was a one-woman show. At some point, school officials say the PTSA checking account wound up in her name. Once we started digging through the paperwork and following the paper trail, it became very clear that we'd had many years of um, dishonesty going on at the PTSA level. Years of dishonesty, and now investigators say more than $50,000 in stolen funds. Ackerman says the PTSA has since been disbanded. The new organization is called Lonnie Kai School Ohana. She says it has better checks, balances, and financial oversight. Back to you.